the workshop. Minimum Design is a small workshop that hand produces light sculptures and useful art objects. Alexandra Tsukala began this effort in 1992 in a small design studio in the centre of Athens. She started the workshop out of her desire to explore her design ideas by constructing objects with her own hands. Every single light sculpture they produce is crafted entirely by hand. Therefore, each one is unique and not identical to any other. They have the freedom to create objects as they were initially inspired, far from the limitations that a production line would place. Metal and fabric are brought together to serve the design, producing a sculptural result. The essence of her work is that it must be useful, with the identity of its material recognisable. For example, iron must look like iron and not try to imitate another material. The construction must be clear and the form a result of both its construction and its materials. Often a game is in play, but the principal and most important reason for the work is never lost sight of that it must serve the initial functions that it was created for. The dimensions of the iron should never be larger than those necessary to create the object. It must never be false in its construction. Reflecting shadow. These shapes came after the creation of a light which was constructed out of a fabric covering a slight metallic skeleton. They were imprinted on stable shadows resembling the ones created by light when casting its rays on hard material like stainless steel. These shapes remain almost the same while the impression they create changes. In the end, it is the material used that determines the actual form. Genie. Genie is a light, constructed from a slight skeleton and fabrics in the form of folds and pleats, which give it an airy and pliable shape, based on curves. It looks like being in constant move and transfiguration, giving a sensual impact of a lust-provoking object. Wow! This provocative light is inspired by Marilyn Monroe's leg posture. The cable is running through the leg, ending at the heel on which the switch is applied. Clit. The shape is self-explanatory of the name sexual innuendo, which derives from the ancient Greek clitoris. Tungram, or the Game of Wisdom. The ancient Chinese game dates back to 750 BC. It consists of seven pieces, which originate from the division of the square and form a puzzle. It can take the shape of a table with rectangular or acute corners, forming flat geometric surfaces for multiple functions. It can also turn into a playing board on which the prospective player can use his imagination and create his own abstract images and geometric drawings. Curve-shaped tables. Their lines are in constant reshaping and their motion always curve-shaped. 
The absence of angles and linear lines is characteristic, providing for free and harmonic motion. The inspiration for their shape was provided from the ruler, this small drawing organ used in architecture. The ruler, as an instrument of drawing, is found lying on the drawing table. The palette on the hand of the painter. All these are blown up in order to change their function and be transformed into sculpted tables. The heart graphics are inspired and based on real cardiograms. These hid in them real persons, names, dates of birth, feelings and emotions, moments of fear or joy, and all of them printed in curves and contour lines expressed in the language of the heart. The cardiogram has the shape of life's rhythm, or even better, a shape that confirms that life has rhythm, is composed of rhythm, namely from the repetition of a pulse which marks the passage of time. Each heart, at each particular moment in each person's life, has its own individual cardiogram, and therefore is different from any other. These peculiar portraits, excavated from the dark side of life, in order to mark their traces on steel, seem to imprint the passage of time, our individual time, appearing as shadows on the wall, resembling the hieroglyphs of our life itself. The cardiogram is read horizontally. The heart graphics stand vertically, like those primitive forms which man created when he stood face to face with his own self. What characterizes the works of Alexandre Tsukala is honest construction, logic, simplicity, self-evidence, with a little humor thrown in.